What is up lads and ladies, it's Edward here and welcome back to another video. Today is the Everton demolishing crush of Man United in the 4-0 win and not much else to say really. <laughs> Enjoy the game. I bet none of us were expecting that at the end of the game. Yeah. 4 0 win. What on God's earth happened? <laughs> I mean, I was expecting a loss, but I was optimistic that we could get a win, but I just. Not by that at all. We, we dominated. We won the game fair and square. We just dominated on stats. And. Wow. For once, we were clinical. We were actually clinical going forwards. And everyone was just fantastic in the team. Uh, it was a, just a thrilling performance to watch. I mean, Gilfie Sigurdsson got man of the match, which fair enough is deserved, but you could literally give it to any of them. I thought they were all fantastic. And especially even like Pickford's going to get underrated, but I thought his distribution was fantastic as well today. Thoroughly, thoroughly deserved win. United didn't turn up. And the goals, like I say, were spectacular. The game plan worked perfectly in the terms of being able to defend when we needed to but also switch it like that and to switch it up in terms of attack smart passing play just exhaust united and the counter attacks the counter attacks were superb like two of our goals basically came from counter attacks i mean obviously you've got to look at the first goal with richarlison's overhead kick luca dean on the volley and then Sigurdsson's on a counter, but a lovely 30-yard screamer. And Theo Walcott, it was lovely to see Theo Walcott on the on the score sheet. You know, it's nice to see him finally get something going his way. I mean, I'll be honest, I did slate the fact that he was coming on instead of Luckman at the time, but I got to eat a slice of humble pie, and I'll gladly do it. And also something that needs to be appreciated is obviously with the defending. The zonal marking, it's been brilliant the past few games. Like, literally being able to defend from set pieces has been working perfectly. And like I say, I don't think I've seen a more dominant performance and consistent performance for an entire game 
first half, second half being the exact same. Something else needs to be said. Obviously, the atmosphere was incredible again, especially with the sirens right at the start. I don't think I've heard Goodison roar like that in a game, obviously, apart from the derby this season, really ever. We restricted United, Manchester United, to one shot on target. One shot on target. And most of that was because they just couldn't be bothered. They didn't turn up, which is also something that needs to be said. The effort wasn't there from United, but it's the exact same as Chelsea in their second half and Arsenal when they came to Goodison. What does that say? That says consistent performances. That says overwhelming performances from Everton know how to destabilise teams and make them disinterested and realise they're not going to win the game. Maybe things are starting to turn around. I genuinely think full season, full pre-season, next season, I don't want to jinx it, but we'll just see what happens. It's it's times like this that we've always got to admire Silver, his tactics. He knows how to play the game, and it's just so annoying that last week we didn't win against Fulham. We could have been on five in a row, but... It's Everton at the end of the day. Once we start getting out the performances, if we put in consistent performances like this at home, once we start grinding out the iffier results, like obviously the likes of Fulham away this season, we can start properly looking forward. But we have to start concentrating, I think it's the words for it, and being less arrogant. Yes, we've beaten teams like Arsenal and Chelsea and Man United, but we can't take any games for granted, even if they're against relegated sides. And yeah. That's the thing with the Premier League. Every game is different. There's no guaranteed winner. There's no guarantee for anything. It's And you can say that to you, the Man United fans today. They're obviously saying, oh, it's just Everton. Well, Everton showed you up. Everton showed you what it's like to have some passion in your team. Everton showed you what it's like to have some leaders and characters in a team. And what it's like to have an actual ground shaking, rocking and supporting that team. So, Gary Neville, Mark Goldbridge, Slate and Everton, not on. And, obviously, we go to Crystal Palace next. Like I say, another big game that we should be starting to determine ourselves and really show where we're going next. But, yeah, that's really it for this game. Um, one final note as well. Obviously, I've just released a podcast with Ryan Hardy. Uh, it's, it is a bit of a long video, but, obviously, please, if you can... Go and check it out. I would appreciate any comments, likes, feedback, anything like that. Because you never know. Might become a more consistent thing. But if you've enjoyed this video anyway, please leave a like. Leave your comments down below. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel for more videos. And we'll see you in the next one. Adios.